Come on, boys. Keep it up. Keep it up. It's beautiful. It really is. Growing up, baby. No longer, baby. Focus on the ogre. Hey, yo, everyone. Welcome back to Terraria 1.4 Master Mode Summoner. Now, these first couple of clips of this episode are me getting a bunch of biome keys before we fight Plantera. And the reason the audio is quiet is because I like to farm while listening to copyrighted music. And if I include that copyrighted music, my channel will get taken down. On to Plantera. Did I talk for enough? All right, we're here. I'm setting up an arena for Plantera. Look at that. Got a jungle key. I have almost every single biome key. Oh, look at that. Just got a marrow. I bet when we do a ranger playthrough, we're never getting our hands on that. But yeah, I'm setting up the arena here. I'm hoping that we one try Plantera. Or at least more bulbs spawn near this arena. Because I don't like building giant arenas like this and then losing. Yo, we got this. One layer. Two layer. That's about it. I was about to make a third one. But we want a decent space at the bottom here for the uh, balls that she spawns in. To just bounce around. Have area to bounce around in where they don't hit me. But we'll see. Honestly, these two platforms might be enough. You know, to fight Plantera, you usually just do this sort of juke. Where you just go in a sort of circle shape, oval shape, whatever you want to say. And this usually works but we'll see how it works against master mode plantera i'll see you guys in a second i guess all right so here we are we're gonna fight plantera hopefully this is enough i don't know the exact strat uh we're using the uh flame burst cane which is amazing i don't know if this is gonna be like the first part of the episode where i'm talking a lot or if i'm gonna have an intro before i farm all the keys because the beginning of this episode it was just me farming keys for the last couple of days it didn't take days to farm them it's just how i was playing the game it's like days in between but yeah let's get to it this is the first part i'm talking a lot let's get to it plant terror time baby and let's summon in one more people are like summoning your summons after you use the potions uh it doesn't work that way anymore it's just whatever your current loadout and stuff is that's how it works now so let's do it i don't know how we're gonna be fighting her uh i don't know if it's even worth to attempt to whip her at all we'll see i guess we will see uh for now i'm just gonna fly around there's a dirt block right there that i hit or a mud block right there that i hit let's see if i can break it oh i actually broke it that was impressive that really was impressive i heard that um the go-to here is the the twin staff and that's what we got the twin staff oh i just shadow dodged right there or what, what the hell is it called now it's kind of, is it called a shadow dodge still who the hell knows that mimic might mess things up hopefully it doesn't but so far the strat's going well this giant arena until we get into phase two this giant arena should hold it down and i don't think i've gotten hit yet uh i don't know if i should like keep on spamming like a flame burst rod or something maybe i should try and kill that mimic i don't know let's see if i can get a whip in we don't need to i'm gonna just teleport over here because i messed up my uh oh damn here come the balls out all right stay up high then stay up high we'll condense our arena to shorter shorter area as in just not the bottom that i was juking to it's all good it's all good let me get some whips in there to help out this fight seems like it's taking forever and i think it's because plantera has some insane defense i'm kind of scared i feel like this is gonna get better was i supposed to use the twins for this or not <laughs> or the the optic staff or not i don't know but look at the strat with the balls it's working out the spiky balls or whatever the hell the thorn balls they can't get up here i feel like we're about to enter phase two any second now and uh things are actually gonna get serious things are actually gonna get serious once we enter phase two uh i also have the electric staff i've been doing a lot of grinding that's really what most summoner episodes consist of if you follow my twitter you see me tweet about it every now and then any other person that's doing summoner playthroughs like my boy gangnir chippy even they they know there's a little grind involved uh and when i say little i mean a lot of grinding involved so that's why things can get a little dangerous okay we probably want to target just the center while i focus on dodging and stuff so that's what i'm gonna do here oh okay be careful now honestly just watch how her hooks work and uh we'll, we'll be chilling pay attention to her hooks honestly we watch her hooks and then we can just kind of juke around plantera's tentacles is that what they're called yeah those things yeah we want to watch out for those things uh because those things can get a little dangerous i'm gonna do a reverse juke here so i can go through that honey no spike balls so we're able to juke around a little bit more but this fight has been pretty tame like i haven't had to do anything crazy yet shadow dodge shout out shadow dodge bro this shit has been a lifesaver that shit has been a lifesaver we gotta be careful right here when we juke i'll probably use the black spot to change sides i'm on that's a good strat i could do here look at that just finessing underneath her this rod of discord has saved me no cap this rod of discord has saved me this thing I'm, I'm very blessed that i got it even though i didn't want it at the time you know i took it for granted when i did get it i was like man i wanted the enchanted sword stuff but this rod of discord has saved me and i'm very thankful for that 
I am very, very thankful for that. Are you guys on her? You guys better be on her. Come on, just send it. Plantera Center. This is this is an intense fight, man. I need you guys to be up and at it. Up and at them. Up and at it. Up and at them. Adam? Who's Adam? I need them to just do work. That's it. Very simple. That's all I ask. We're gonna get down here. Boom. Quick dash. Cross. Same thing. Get up here. Boom. Quick dash across. Go down here. Boom. We're gonna rot a Discord across. Teleport up. Ow. All good. Uh, I don't hear my minions attacking anymore. Hello? <laughs> Can you guys attack, please? This is a very intense fight and you guys aren't attacking, which is very, very bad. They're not attacking. Why aren't they attacking? What's going on now? <laughs> I need you guys to attack. Like, what? Is Plantera, like, going out of bounds for them? That might be happening. Go over here. Come on. Keep on attacking. Do I need to, like, switch my summons out here at the end? We need DPS, boys. DPS. Ow, ow, ow. That shit hurted. It. It's all good. Keep it up. We got a, We got another teleport coming in a second. Boom. Switch sides. We got to heal instantly. Okay, nice. Come on, boys. Keep it up. Keep it up. Let me get some whips in there to help you guys out. Oh, I hit something. We're good, though. We're good, though. Ooh, I don't want to get hit by that. Okay, we did get hit by it. Come on. Kill her. Kill her. I'm going to need y'all to kill her. I can't do this forever. I can't do this forever. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. I got it. You're, I'll, I'll try and get the last whip in there. I don't know if I got it. But boom, bada, bing, we beat Plantera. Got a little scary at the end there. You know, I was hearing this noise the whole time. The pew, pew, pew. And then it kind of stopped at the end. I don't know what they were doing. Maybe Plantera was going out of bounds and they were having troubles. But there you go. We beat Plantera first try. And, uh, you know, people, I, every, I get comments every video. People are like, you make this harder for yourself. Your strategies make this playthrough tougher it's like i'm damn near flawless with every single boss but who was the boss we died at the beginning to because i had nothing was it king slime or was it the eye the eye cthulhu i think we died to at the beginning only because i had legit nothing and he spawned out of nowhere so like i don't know can you guys really tell me that my playstyle is bad if i'm flawless every single boss i don't know you definitely criticize it but you can't you can't say it's the worst with plantera dead that opens up a bunch of opportunities for us in terms of progression but first let's pop open the plantera Terra seedling. Boom bada bing. Why'd I say pop open like it's a treasure bag? Oh, I like this. I like this. Carnivorous plants, you know, they got a soft spot in my heart. Uh, hopefully they don't take a bite out of my heart, but I don't know. There's something about plants like this that look cool. Maybe it's because I had my own carnivorous plant when I was growing up. Not really. I, I had a plant, what are they called? Fly traps? I had one of those like 10 years ago, and I think it died like a year later. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's pop open the treasure bag, see what we got. Of course, we got the jungle key. Very, very needed. Is there something she's supposed to drop that we want? The pygmy staff, right? Oh my god, I, I really don't want to her again that fight like it wasn't too bad but it was giving me anxiety at the end like there was too much going on with the end it's just my the minions they weren't doing what they were supposed to be doing even though they were consistent the whole fight but at the end they're like hey we're gonna make this a little scary okay but yeah let's go ahead let's stuff everything away spore sack summon spores oh does that mean it does summon damage i don't know but you guys already know what time it is we're gonna make a visit to the 10 times harder dungeon because it's time for us to pop open the things that we want their shit might as well pop open everything we got almost every key all right we're here let's do it let's get some goodies uh i should take on the old one's army oh was i supposed to take on the old one's army before i whatever you know it doesn't matter <laughs> i can always take on the phase two old one's army in a different world or is it golem i don't know if it's plantera or golem it might be plantera for the old one's army gets harder completely forgot about that oh look at this both these chests right at the top thank you why did they even put shadow keys in those but yeah i will be taking these please don't touch me excuse me uh it's getting a little dangerous here this dude is teleporting everywhere holy shit nice we got a black belt from killing one bone lead we're getting sold tonight right here is, there, is it corrupted i'm assuming it's corrupted but let's find what we're looking for the frost chest and the non-frost chest can I see these on the map? Probably not. Let's just go through the whole dungeon. Guy just killed a big skull and it gave me a heavy shadow jousting lance. I don't know how good lances are. People told me they're kind of ass. Uh, I don't know what to expect from subclasses in Terraria. They usually always ass. Nice. You just got a paladin shield. It took like a good minute to kill him. It actually, I don't know if these blades are too bad for the enemies in here. They got really high defense. But, you know, we staggered the paladin there and we just ripped them apart. But it still felt like it took a good minute. Like some of these enemies really do have the high defense. Even with me using the Dern doll and me using the Stinger necklace, like they still taking hits. But yeah, let's pop open the desert chest here. Boom, bada bing. 
desert tiger staff. Sweet. Now I just have to find the Hydra one and then we can get the hell out of here. Bam, found the last one. Thank God that took kind of longer than it should have. I don't know. I should have marked all the chests ahead of time with torches and stuff. But boom, we got everything we need. Uh, let's head back home here. Actually, there's a couple things that I want. I want, I want to make the, the master ninja gear. But yeah, let's see it in action. Hydra staff. Did they change the ugly looking sprite on this? That, I mean, it looks better. I think it looks better. I can kind of tell what it is. And then let's peep the desert tiger staff so I, I don't know how this works so we got oh stay up here it's just one summon i think right there's a little 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 cute little tiger and then boom does it get stronger every time i do that oh oh yeah it is getting stronger look at that that thing's huge now but that's the highest i can go is five that is the highest i can go it's kind of hard to tell let me, let me try again what are you shooting at bro so we got one little little baby one all right you gotta move little baby one as you can see two uh a little scruffier no nah, this still looks the same three still looks the same four growing up baby no longer baby and then five and i'm assuming it's every three then or is it no it's every four so you need eight summon slots to get the max potential of this this thing better be fucking good bro let me see if i got anything we could test it out on like any summons or anything i should have some uh king slime yeah here we go all right king slime let's let's go down to the surface all right king slime let's see it in action let's see the cat in action what's up what is this the fourth this is the fourth rank of the cat right fifth rank five summons does it get stronger every time let's see no just focus on that okay i'll throw in the hydra to help out too but for now just focus on the king slime actually doing really good damage that's not bad but it is it seems like a single target damage well i don't know there's definitely some hell being broken loose here some damage going off okay it's an interesting summon to say the least and i can see why people would call it trash is because it's different you know things are different people are straight are straight away gonna be like it's trash it's unfamiliar to me i don't understand it just like the uh blade staff how it does a small amount of damage people immediately like it's trash it doesn't do anything well we gotta we gotta take a look at it and be like okay this is a little bit different let's figure out how to use it and then maybe don't just jump to conclusions and call it trash because it doesn't seem too bad especially if you can get was it eight summons and get it in its full form like then it could be pretty damn good all right so let's figure out how we're gonna take on the old ones army it is luckily after you beat golem thank god so let's figure out how we want to do this i got a lot of good tips i hearted all of them i should have replied to all of them because you can't sort youtube comments by hearted uh which kind of sucks you can sort by a bunch of other things but of course not by hearted so uh, now i had to just think and remember those tips uh people told me that i could use the staffs that aren't a part of the event just like no problem immediately i was wondering if you could do that or not and yes you can also i was trying to figure out which armor is for what and it is the monk armor that apparently is the summoner set for this event so let me put that on and this gives us what three summons so we can summon these three right away boom we got them ready and then people told me that the flame burst is better for aerial targets and i also have my hands on the other staff which i can't find where is it there it is this one the lightning one because this one i've been told is very good to place Pretty much at spawn of the portals so uh you know we got a couple different staffs here that we can mix up the whole entire fight with and let's hope we can do it so i don't know if i should uh use potions or not for this i don't know i feel like you don't have to use potions but you know might as well carry two extra summoning potions with me and let's figure this out here so we want our three frost hydras just chilling i don't know i don't know if they want me to do frost hydras like this or if they want me to summon in these things first who knows uh let me get I don't know what summons I should get here. Let, let's do the blade staff since they hit multiple targets. But uh, what side am I going to help out the most here? Probably the left side. Let's help out the left side the most. So let's put those over there and those over there, okay? Or maybe I should do it like this. Put them close. Yeah, let's put them close. All right, let's do it. Do I have my crystals? Hold up. I do need the crystals first. Let's not forget that part. That's important. Drink potion. Summon minion. Where is it? Summon minion. Activate event. Let's get it. Okay. So let's start off with lightning boom right there did that work is that the good spot to place it probably not i probably already fucked up it's all good get my attacks in there we're moving to the other side that side has more than enough help the goal is to fuck up everything before they get too close that's the obvious goal of the old ones on you in any situation let me help out the other side you never know what's going on on the other side it's looking good over here it better be looking good over here you know how many damn summons i have on this side already or centuries three of them 
So you guys better be chilling. These hydras have a uh, very good range. But yeah, this is how we're gonna start every time. We're gonna help this right side. Ooh, be careful. We're gonna help the right side out. Okay, just ran right into him. Get all the crystals we can from here. Hello, I'm just gonna float over with you on mine. Ooh, sorry. And then we go to the other side. Have fun, everyone. We're gonna help this side. I'm kind of scared. It's these damn kobolds. They're very scary. Now, at some point, they're supposed to be flying kobolds, and those guys are really dangerous. And I think another tip people gave me was to uh, use... Oh, shit, my hydras are gone. What the hell? I forgot that they, they go away after a while. Another tip people told me was to use or cover up the aerial part of the crystal or the above part of the crystal just to stop the flying kobolds from you know suicide bombing it we'll keep that in mind for the future i think we have one more wave before wyverns no idea no just something you know flame burst anyways oh shit it's the wyvern wave <laughs> okay it is the third wave i thought it was different because you know it's the later progression or the tier two of the old ones army so i thought it was changed up i don't know you know the last time we took on the old ones army was more of a blur than anything else uh, a panic induced blur but we should be chilling boom look at that wave over already sweet Add a flame burst to that side, and oh wow, this side kill it, kill everything. Nice, <laughs> good job, everyone. It's kind of nice having variety in this event this time, because we definitely didn't have variety last time. We only had one staff, the ballista, but now we got a little bit more. And uh, this should, I wouldn't say be a breeze, but it should be a lot easier than it was before. The old one's army is like legit one of the hardest things I have trouble with. It's not even a legit Terraria thing. That's the thing. It's a fucking collab. It's a little collab event, and I have the most trouble with it. That's the weird part. Uh, can I get all your crystals, please? It's getting a little dangerous over here. Uh, how's the left side doing? Left side doing good. I don't see anything pushing up over there. All right, dropping back. Gonna go help the left side out. Wow, they're chilling. Never mind. Gonna go help the right side out. Maybe because the Draken spawned on this side instead of the other side. I don't know. Let's do another lightning staff. There you go. So the that spawn is pretty much covered. Uh, good job over here. And let's get a ballista. Let's get a ballista for that pen. I'm gonna drop them back a little bit though. Oh shit. Yeah, we do have kobold gliders now. Damn, they're getting spawn killed. Look at this. <laughs> they're getting spawn killed out of here. Give me all the mana and I'm out. To the other side. How about the other side? Focus this dude. Get him out of here. Aerial units. See you later. Um, I think actually let's get another flame burst over here. Or maybe another lightning staff over here. I don't know. Okay, you guys are good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go help the other side. See how they're doing. Oh, they're chilling over here too. Let me get a couple whips in there. Back to the other side. Get these damn aerial people out of here. This is going very, very nice. Uh, I'm gonna help out the left side now. Let me go ahead. Let me resummon again. This armor is making them crit and strike faster, which honestly is probably helping a lot. Let's go ahead. Let's just spawn kill. This is how you do it right here. Just spawn kill everything. And then you switch sides to help out the other side. Boom. Focusing on the aerial units as always to help out the most you can because the aerial units are what fuck everything over all right switching sides helping out over here i keep running into all the enemies out let me just stop that switching sides are doing good over there damn this is going really well this is weird how well it's going all right we got a bunch of more ethereum mana that's more units right here let me hop out the left side here oh we got some more stuff wither beast what is this minecraft uh oh it's the ogre it's the ogre wow what the hell he hit me from there Oh, good throw. Psycho is a terrible throw. You gotta kill this ogre. Focus on the ogre, everyone. Focus on the ogre. Get his ass. I hope the, the right side is doing good. Get his ass right here. Ogre. I'm using the wrong staff. Use the other staff. Come on. Come on. Let's get him. Let's get him. Yes, sir. And it's over just like that. I don't think we got the accessory I wanted. Or any item that I wanted. But... We beat the old ones, aren't we? It's possible. It is now a farmable thing. Damn it. We got the Octopod, which isn't this like an extremely good weapon in certain cases? I don't know. Uh, it's a very funny weapon, though, for sure. Look at this. This is really cool looking. <laughs> but now that I know it's farmable, we'll keep that in mind. We can keep on farming it. See you later, Ogre. Thanks for not dropping any of the weapons I want. So you get the idea. I'm going to just sit here and farm and then probably just capture the Ogre wave and uh, honestly it's not too bad this is honestly pretty easy what does this sword do i don't know i don't remember right here boys kill him get him out of here that wasn't the last one no it was the last one hey monk's belt perfect so we got the monk's belt increase your max numbers of centuries by one increasing damage by 10 percent 
great item right here this is one of the items we're looking for we get a max century we get more minion damage and honestly that could probably replace the glove and the the stinger necklace now let me see what else i can get from this i think there's like a shield i want from this but uh honestly we might not even have to get it all right so i was just on the wiki and there is an item for each sort of set of armor so for example we got the monk one uh, i don't know if it's affected by wearing the monk set at all it probably isn't it just happened that we got the monk's belt while wearing the monk set but yeah there's a piece for each set so there's like a shield for the squire uh, a buckler for the the hunter set whatever and they do not stack i think that's what it said on the wiki i'm, I'm pretty sure it said it doesn't stack with the other ones so we got one that's all we need anyways uh so we get an extra summon and we get 10 percent more damage which is very very great and uh if i were to rock the any of these sets and do the old ones army again boom i'm gonna have four summons but you know i'm fine with two i'm fine with two summons as a summoner or two extra centuries as a summoner is what i should say a solar eclipse is happening perfect hopefully i don't need any of these things i'm going back to the house here and uh, let's see if we can farm some deadly spheres yeah i'm just gonna sit here and hopefully we get the sphere eventually all right solar eclipse over i used the uh cat the whole time my bad tiger uh not too bad because it bounces around and hits everything it's, uh, honestly it's a really cool summon but in terms of me getting a new summon from this event hell no i got everything but the new summon you love to see it as you can see here there's actually a bunch of new items in here which is very dope uh aka just vanities and i do like that that they dropped their vanities that's very cool hold up still got some uh, excess problems to deal with here you guys need to die a little bit quicker so i can sit and look at my items and pee oh okay all right, i can die that works too all righty back to what i was saying new vanity stuff boom psycho knife sweet the weapon I, was the psycho knife always this quick god damn a death sickle not just one two of them got a chainsaw sweet honestly that's pretty damn useful got a broken hero sword got the eye of cthulhu what's this thing called yeah the eye of cthulhu that's literally what's called moonstone bat wings we legit got like almost everything in that single night that we can get but the staff we wanted of course because it wouldn't be a game raiser video if that didn't happen and that is another plantera kill honestly way easier with the blade stuff i don't know it just felt way faster but please give me the pygmy staff if it gives me a pygmy staff i'll do a backflip right now all right well i guess i'm not doing a backflip because i totally could do one all right so i found another plantera and we only have this one bulb left that i know of and maybe i'll find an enraged one I don't know. I kind of want to end off this episode. I've been playing for a good bit. My wrists hurt, but uh, let me return back down to the Plantera Arena to pick up all my items. I was working on some NPC housing to get my hands on the Truffle NPC. Well, I didn't even really have to do much. I just had to build a couple houses and move people around. And I'll eventually get everyone. Hello? I'll eventually get everyone set up in the houses they need to be set up in. But lots of areas are still corrupted. And it's, it's a little bit harder to get rid of corruption in a vanilla tour area. Yeah, let me grab all my stuff here from this arena. Look how these big ass arenas they're all over the place you know i think the best arena so far was this one because it was super long i don't know it made it a lot easier to juke super long this one wasn't too bad and this one wasn't too bad either but definitely if you build a plantar arena do it the long way is well what i would prefer or what i would recommend is do it long rather than horizontal but yeah let's go ahead let's pop open this plantera bag and uh let's hope that i actually get the pygmy staff because if i don't i'm gonna be upset just a little bit three planteras no pygmy staff come on the game should be like okay he's doing summoner damage to all bosses let's give him a summoner weapon because of that you know i feel like that'd be a nice feature right there i don't know how you would code that but please give me the pygmy staff yes sir got a bad reforge on it this yeah that is a bad reforge minus damage is always a bad reforge the seedler yo i haven't seen this weapon in a minute and let us go ahead sell stuff we don't need um but boom we got the pygmy staff sweet so that means next episode we can hop right in fight the golem uh I, we didn't really need this staff to fight the golem but i just wanted the staff anyways and uh the golem you know he's buffed he's a little different he's been buffed and uh let's see if we can take him on i don't know if there's a specific strategy i'm supposed to use or anything uh but i guess let's just check out the pygmy staff real quick before we end off here let's see them look at them little funny pygmies what the hell are these things called 
Yep, pygmies. Oh, you know what else we could do? Damn, why didn't I do this the whole time? I could get the uh, tiki armor, right? Bro, I should have did that this whole time. But my boy Jamundi here, he should be selling tiki stuff. Yes, sir. Major upgrade alert. Cough it up, man. Cough it up. And uh, we should buy everything. God damn, this is expensive. It's all good. We got a lot of gold. But there you go. Got all of it. Should I get the tiki totem? Nah, maybe. Yes. Yeah, why not? Tiki totem. This would look like my boy Aku Aku from Crash Bandicoot. All right. Yeah, we got this here. Uh, this should be better defense. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, way better defense. Okay. And then what about damage? 56. This goes to 62. Okay, big upgrade alert. And then in terms of how many minions I can summon, let's see. Boom, put this on. We got one, two, three, four, five, six okay still five wait that's five without a bewitching table buff though that's five without a oh look at that i wonder what it looks like to have even more of them but that's what we got these for boom right here pygmy necklace gives us one more boom seven that's what it looks like okay very very cool i kind of wanted them to do a circle around me but you know uh half a circle works but i know what you guys want to see before we end out this episode you want to see the finch staff you want to see the finch staff episode one thumbnail here goes right here get the tiki out of here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's beautiful. It really is. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Become a channel member if you want to support me directly and help out. I'm going to be streaming more. So some of their episodes might slow down a little bit. Uh, because remember, they do take a long time to do. But yeah, thank you for watching. B -b 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 Bye.